Now that we have an idea of how slope works, let's take a look at other forms for the equation of the line. We've already seen the standard form, so that the form ax plus by is equal to c. We have special cases, x equal to c, where we have a vertical line, y equals c gives a horizontal line. We have two other forms of interest. We have slope-intercept form, so it's going to be y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, 0 comma b is the y-intercept. This is the equation we focus on for this part. Then we'll see point-slope form, so here will be given the slope and any point on the line, and then our equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, for slope-intercept form, okay, the key ingredients here are the slope and the y-intercept. So the idea is the equation is going to take the form y equals mx plus b, m is the slope, 0b is the y-intercept. So one thing I should check, if I put 0 into this equation, what comes out? I have y equals 0 plus b is equal to b, which means the point 0b is on our line. Because we have x equal to 0, this is going to be on the y-axis, so it's going to be the only point where our graph cuts the y-axis. Now, for an example, suppose I'm given the line x plus 2y equal to 4 in standard form. With what we know so far, okay, if I wanted to find the slope, what do I do? I try to find two points, and then we apply our slope formula. So I'll look for the x and y intercepts. So if I set y equals 0, we get the x-intercept. If I set x equal to 0, we get the y-intercept. So with x equal to 0, we get y equals 2. y equals 0, we get x equal to 4. So the points 0, 2, and 4, 0. Now, our slope equation says, take the change in y over the change in x, the rise over the run. For the rise, I have 2 minus 0, gives me 2. For the run, I have 0 minus 4, gives me a minus 4. We reduce, and I get minus a half for the slope. So that's going to be the m that I use in the equation. For the b, I have to look for the y-intercept. Okay, we've already found that in this first part. That's when x is equal to 0. So I'm going to have b equal to 2. Now, the great thing about okay, slope-intercept form, you don't need to actually do this work. All you need to do is take your equation and isolate y. So what we'll do is I'll push the x to the other side as a minus x. I divide through by a 2, so I isolate the y. So we'll have minus a half x and then plus 2. So we see here in this equation, we're expecting the slope to be equal to minus a half. The y-intercept, the b, is going to be equal to 2. And that just confirms what we found doing it the long way. So if I want to find the slope and the y-intercept, I just try to put my formula into slope-intercept form. Let's recall how we graph a line using the slope and a given point. In this case, the given point will be the y-intercept. Now, our usual procedure, I find any two points in the line, okay, so we stick two x's into our equation, two points come out, we plot the points, and then we connect the dots. Now, for our equation here, we've already found x and y intercepts, so we'll plot those. So we have 0, 2, and 4, 0. Okay, so I go up 2, over 4, plot, connect the dots. We can check our slope. So since the inclination is like this, slope is negative. Going from the origin, we see that the rise is 2, the run is 4, so we have minus 2 over 4, or minus a half, which checks our work. Now, to get this picture just using the slope and the y-intercept, okay, so we'll plot our y-intercept, which is 0, 2. Our slope, okay, is minus a half, so I could read that as minus 1 over 2. If I think of this as rise over run, okay, that says the rise is minus 1, which means down 1. The run is 2, which means right by 2. So I go right by 2, down 1 from our intercept to get this point here. On the other hand, I could also read this as 1 over minus 2. So our rise is 1, or up 1. Our run is minus 2, which means go to the left by 2. 
So we go left by two, up one, and we get this point here. When I connect the dots, all three points live on the same line, and that checks our work. Let's revisit our problem of parallel, perpendicular, or neither when we're given two lines. First case, I have two x minus one equals y, four x minus two y equals two. What we wanna do, we want the slopes so we can compare. So we're gonna isolate y to put our equations in slope intercept form. So the first case, I push the y to the other side, the one to this side to get y equals two x minus one. Our slope is the coefficient of x. So for the first equation, we have slope equal to two. In the second equation, same idea. So we move things around, divide through by two, we get y equals two x minus one. So we have the same equation, which means we have the same line. Okay, so note they have the same slope, the same y-intercept, so they have to be the same line. Second example, two x minus y equals one, x plus two y equals one. Okay, we isolate as before. Okay, so in the second case, we see that we have y equals minus a half x plus a half. So the slope is equal to minus a half. So we have slopes two and minus a half. We take the product, we get a minus one. That means these lines are perpendicular. Last case, two x minus y equals one, x plus y equals one. We isolate the y's. So we see that the slopes are equal to two and a minus one. These are not equal. The product is equal to minus two, okay, not minus one. So they're neither parallel nor perpendicular. Let's try. Find the slope intercept equation of the line parallel to y equals minus three x plus two and through the point one, one. Now if they're asking for slope intercept equation. So the first thing I do is write that down in general form. Okay, note we have three types of equations to deal with. We wanna make sure our answer is in the form that's asked for. Next, we have line parallel to y equals minus three x plus two. So parallel just means the same slope. So that means our slope for the new line is just equal to slope of the old line minus three. We're halfway to our equation. So we know it's in the form y equals minus three x plus b. We have a remaining piece of information to get b. We know that one one is on the line, which means if I put one one into the equation, okay, we get a true statement. So if I put one one in here, we have one equals minus three one plus b, or b is equal to four. So our final equation is y equal to minus three x plus four. To check our work, okay, I can draw pictures. For the original line, okay, the intercept is at two. We have slope minus three, so I can go down by three and then to the right by one, then connect the dots. For our new line, okay, intercepts at four, Slope is again minus three, so I go down three over by one, connect the dots. We see the lines are parallel. And we also note if I go down three to the right by one from zero four, I land on one one, which is a point that we know is on our line. So that's gonna check that also. Let's try the same problem. Only now we do perpendicular instead of parallel. So perpendicular to y with a minus three x plus two through the point one one. Okay, we write down the type of equation we're looking for, and then we talk about what perpendicular means. So there the product of the slopes is equal to minus one. So that'll mean slope of the new line is gonna be one third. We're halfway to our equation. We have y equals one third x plus b. To find b, we substitute in the point one one. That gives b equal to two thirds. We have our equation now, y equals one third x plus two thirds. Of course, we want to check, so I can do that by drawing the picture. We already know what the first line looks like. Okay, intercept the two, go down three over one, connect the dots. For the new equation, okay, the new line, we have intercept the two thirds, roughly there, and then slope is gonna be one third. So I can go down by one, and then to the left by three, connect the dots. We see in our picture, angle of intersection is roughly 90 degrees. Good enough check for our work. Finally, let's do an equation off two points. So here I wanna find the equation of the line. Okay, we'll want slope intercept and standard form. 
through the points, one comma minus one, and three, three. So same idea as before. We find our slope, we take one of our points to find B, and then we have our equation. Now for the slope, okay, we have rise over run. So we're take change of Y over change of X. Okay, the rise is three minus a minus one, which gives me a four. The run is three minus one, which gives me a two. So our slope is equal to two. So we're halfway to our equation, Y equals two X plus B. We put in three, three. I have three equals two times three plus B. B is equal to minus three, and we have our equation. So Y equals two X minus three. That's slope intercept form. For standard form, I want the X and Y terms on one side, the number on the other. So I just push this over to get minus two X plus Y equal to minus three. That's our answer. We should check our work. So I wanna see that both points lie on one of these equations. Now, if I take three, three, can we put it into this equation? We'll have minus two times three plus three. That's equal to minus three, so that checks. Take our second point. We have minus two times one, minus one. That's equal to minus three, so that checks also. So that's our problem. 